Hello guys, time again to tie yet another fly in, nice pattern, I like the contrast of things on this one, uh, let's begin. Let's start, first we're gonna have a gold tinsel, I'm gonna go with extra small in the back and see how, how that turns out. I'm gonna cut the small bit here. There we go. So I just fix the thread. So just tying it in. There we go. Just adding the tin cell. It'll be gonna be a lot of it. Tight wraps. Just gonna see tight enough. I just press with the thumb nail and I need another tool. There we go. Yeah, it's not tight enough. So I'm gonna unbind a little bit and then put put it correct. You want it as tight as possible. I think that's sufficient. So I'm gonna tie it in. And then you just tie in the whole thread to leveling, uh, level up the body. <clears throat> Going back, we're gonna add the tail. So I'm just building up here a bit to give a nice foundation for the tail. There we go. Let's tie in the tail then. Uh, so first I'm gonna back the thread a bit. <clears throat> and here we have a tail. I'm gonna go with a long look tail. So I wanna have like a sweeping profile of this uh, fly so, just tying it in and I tie everything in there we go So 
చేస్తాం నెక్స్ట్ బ్యాలెట్ వుడ్ just going to back the thread so a few tight wraps four turns there we are yes moving the thread backwards so I can tighten in there we go going back with the thread again. gonna attach a lot of funny things so we're gonna have a gold twist securing that one and this one I just did myself with three three strands of uh, oval gold pencil and we go back again and I'm gonna add the black pop tackle silver tin cell well actually flat I can start from the beginning go back and forward again so that's even better so what I'm gonna do is um, build up the body a bit because now it's thick in the back this one in Thank you. 
So I'm just using this thread then to build up the body shape. It's good to do that on uh, patterns with like a tinsel body or silk body. Because then you can, yeah, make it as you want. So here we can start to move forward again. need to add a bit more actually so I'm just tying that one in and then cut it off and we add more <clears throat> there it looks a bit better you can spend a lot of time uh, making the perfect body uh, but since I'm doing a video I just do it quickly showing you guys what you can do There we go. So I'm gonna add a silver tinsel. backwards, turn, and then go back again. forward as you see I could spend some more time leveling the body would make it uh, much nicer but the video very long as well
let's see how far we get before my dog realizes it's dinner time. <laughs> Yeah. I like the contrast yeah. with the silver body and gold on top and then the black cackle will like seal it in so rolling the fibers backwards and then just place it behind the gold twist the stem gets a bit of protection there let's see if I can get it closer all the fibers on the packing tying in the stem properly and then it's time for the front tackle The hackle could be much closer to the tin cell itself, but yeah, I'm just gonna move it. Now it looks good. Yeah, now it's better. Now it's like after. So front tackle should be teal. I'm gonna back the thread first before I tie it in. I don't rip it out. I always do a proper front tackle, I don't like false hackle. Yeah. It doesn't look right to me. Yeah. But we all we're all different. So that's as much as I'm gonna tie in because we need to save some room for the wing and uh, the hurl head there. Just gonna brush brush the teal out a bit.
There we go. Looks fishy. Now I'm just gonna prepare the wing and then uh, just uh, add it. Now it's time to add the wing and the components in it. They're gonna add uh, two toppings. I'm gonna start with this one. I just want it to be nice base. <coughs> Sorry about that. Still recovering from a cold. And then we do another topping if I can find it. <laughs> very curved I don't really like that but I need to clean more necks or heads sorry the two I had only had the or the four I did they had the really good quality uh, on the the big ones, but the medium and small was just terrible. So I know what I'm gonna do this weekend. So there we are. Popping on. We got two there. Uh, then the pad and states. Bustard and cream colored turkey and wood duck. Mm. Let me see. Maybe I put the wood duck first and then the wing on top. So, a few wood duck feathers. That would be a nice section. So I cut that off. Now we've got one side. I'm too small. Damaged. Let me go through these. Going to show it. Might need a, a bit more, unless that's the right one. And it is. Yeah, we're lucky today. that away so wood duck that's gonna tie in this one very carefully Sure, they the equal length.
Then we have Corey. That cream, cream white. Let's take a few strands each side. Just gonna have a look. Just gonna reshape them. There we go. A bit of coffee. But I think I'm gonna reposition uh, the buried wood duck first because it should be sides. Yeah, side and side wing, but it should be lower. There we go. Else it's not gonna show. Cream white. I think I'm gonna marry them honestly. It's the thin stripe. Oops. Lost this one on the floor almost. ready so I'm just gonna pair them so they have the equal length That was a bad position for my arm. It fell asleep. But let's uh, see how it turns out. Yeah, we got it low. Not bad. That's gonna work with the fibers here on the side a bit. And then we're gonna work a bit on the topping.
so that's basically the fly but i think i'm gonna add the hurl head on it so i'm gonna cut everything in the front off let's clean it up then we go for the hurl head Gonna completely ruin the very put duck on my side, on your side. But it's gonna be fishing fly, so it's okay. Just gonna cut the last long fibers in the front here. There we go. So let's wax the thread and then we do a hurl head. You shouldn't have uh, your fingers all over the place like I did tying this pad and uh, then you will uh, mess up the buried wood duck. But it wouldn't affect the results when fishing, but the overall look Hurl. There we go. We have one hurl left. And I need to find my other hurl. So let's tie this one in. <clears throat> it's gonna be interesting to fish this one. I think it looks really nice and of course the hurl turns the wrong way so let's re reset this one Same again. Hey. Nah. I want it to sit right. Yes, it's not gonna look good. You want the fibers to point forward, not backwards. When you tie it in. But maybe the stem is too soft on this one. Yeah, but now it's good. There you go. Pearl head on. So I'm just cutting that one. 
and then cutting the thread. So guys, that, and that was it. Uh, there's a fly. I'm gonna take a better picture of it and, uh, and then start to edit the, the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, uh, make sure to do that and hit the bell button. Uh, then uh, you're gonna get a notification of my coming videos. I do plenty of them. And I'll also live uh, each Saturday. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.